Unit 43, Certainty and Uncertainty. Speaking and Listening. Introduction. You're listening to Radio 4. The time is 6.30, and here's Nigel Bennett with our weekly quiz program about quotations. That is the question. Hello and welcome to That is the Question. Our guests this week are the novelist Aris Dunn. Good evening. The poet Roger Patton. Hello. And the jazz singer George Armstrong. Hi. And here's our first question. In 1904, who said this? Radio has no future. Roger. Marconi? Nope, it wasn't Marconi. Aris. I think it was Queen Victoria, but I'm not sure. No, sorry, that's not correct. It wasn't Queen Victoria. George. Lord Kelvin. Are you sure? Yes, I think so. Yes, it was definitely Lord Kelvin. Yes, you're right. Lord Kelvin is the correct answer. In 1904, the British physicist Lord Kelvin said, radio has no future. Fortunately, he was wrong. <laughs> so, that's one point to George. Question two. In 1973, who said this? I do not think a woman will be Prime Minister in my lifetime. Um, Aris was first, I think. Margaret Thatcher. Correct. Margaret Thatcher said it. One point to Aris. <laughs> Question three. Who said this? The world will end on February the 20th, 1524. Um, Aris. I don't know. Roger? Uh, sorry. George, any ideas? Uh, no, sorry. Well, it was the German astrologer Johannes Stöftler. Oh, yes, uh, of course. <laughs> Present uncertainty. Listen and repeat. Perhaps. Maybe. Who knows? Listen. Oh, no. Who's that? It could be your brother. Hmm, perhaps. It could be your sister. Maybe. Or it could be your boss. Yes, you could be right. Who knows? Why don't you answer it? OK. Hello? It's my boss. Hello, Mr Jefferson. Yes. 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 Listen. Yes. 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 No. OK, Mr Jefferson, Monday morning. Yes, fine. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, no. Well, who's that? It may be your mother. She wanted to see you today. Oh. Or it could be the postman. Or it could be Dr. Brown. Yes. Or it might be the Prime Minister. Ha, ha. Or it might be Father Christmas. Why don't you go and see? OK. Oh. Good morning, Prime Minister. What? Thank you. It was the postman. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. 
Listen and repeat. It may be your mother. It could be the postman. It could be Dr. Brown. It might be the Prime Minister. It might be Father Christmas. Future Uncertainty Listen and repeat. Probably. Possibly. Who knows? Listen. Here is the weather forecast for tomorrow. Scotland and Ireland will probably have sunshine in the morning. In the north of Scotland, there could be a little snow. In the afternoon, there will probably be rain everywhere. In the north of England and Wales, it will probably be fine and quite cold in the morning. In the afternoon, there may be some rain in Wales. There might be a little snow. In the south of England, there will probably be rain everywhere. But who knows? Listen and repeat. Scotland will probably have sunshine. There may be some rain. There could be a little snow. There might be a little snow. Listen. Thomas, are you going to make that trip to New York? Probably. Sorry? Probably. Possibly. I'm not sure. I'll ask you again. Are you going to make that trip to New York? I may, and I may not. What? I may go, and I may not go. I may stay at home. Thomas, for the last time, are you going to make that trip to New York? I might, if you ask me nicely. Thomas, are you going to make that trip to New York? Yes, Mr. Jefferson. Of course, Mr. Jefferson. Definitely, Mr. Jefferson. Doubts. Listen. These questions are all about Shakespeare quotations. Question one, true or false? Hamlet says, to be or not to be, that is the question. Roger. True. Correct. Question two, true or false? Cleopatra says, I am dying, Egypt, dying. Paris. False. So Cleopatra doesn't say it? No, I don't think so. I think Antony says it, but I'm not sure. Well, you're right. Antony says it in the play Antony and Cleopatra, of course. Question three. Who says this? Never, 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 never. Is it Othello? George. Yes, I think Othello says it. I don't think he does. It's King Lear, isn't it? Iris is right. It's King Lear. Never, 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 never. True, 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 <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Song. Who knows? Who knows where we'll be a year or two from now? You might be in Paris and I in Rome. You might be with someone else and I alone. Everything can change so fast, it's all unknown A year or two from now Who knows where we'll be A year or two from now We might stay together or we might part Nothing lasts forever, it won't break my heart Who knows, we might even make a new start A year or two from now to your crystal ball Tell me what you see Does the future have in it A place for you and me A 
year or two from now. A year or two from now. Accents of English. This speaker is Canadian. Listen. The differences between Canadian accents from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Vancouver, British Columbia are nowhere near as great as the regional accents that one hears in Great Britain. Even though there are fewer people spread a tremendous distance of nearly 4,000 miles, I think when you look at uh, voices and the sounds they make, you have to really think in many ways in terms of North America as opposed just to Canada because although the boundary between the United States and Canada runs east to west, the fact is that the BC people relate to Californians in more ways than one. The prairie farmer relates to his counterpart in the Midwestern United States in more ways than one. The East Coast fisherman relates to his counterpart in the New England states, around in the Boston area particularly, in more ways than one. But speaking exclusively of Canada, there are funny little things come out. For example, in Nova Scotia, a true Nova Scotian, in saying the word A-F-T-E-R, will always insert an R. It will always come out after. Um, and you can always spot a true Nova Scotian because he drops that extra R in. There's one point I should make, and, uh, and it's an obvious one, I suppose. And that is when you get into French Canada, when you get the French Canadians speaking English, naturally uh, a great many of them have a pronounced French accent. And I'm certain that many English speaking Canadians have a pronounced English accent when they speak French. Synopsis Dialogue And that's the end of That is the Question for this week. Thank you to our guests, Iris Dunn. Good night. Roger Patton. Goodbye. And George Armstrong. Bye. We'll be back next week, I think. Yes, we'll definitely be back next week, and we hope you'll join us. I probably will, Nigel. I probably will. Until then, goodbye. Now, before the news, here is the weather forecast for tomorrow. Scotland and Northern Ireland will probably have sunshine all day. Oh, lovely. In the north of Scotland, there may be a little snow. Hmm. In the north of England and in Wales, it will probably be fine and quite cold. Very nice. In the south of England, there will probably be rain everywhere and there may be some thunderstorms. Oh, wonderful. Your horoscope for tomorrow. Tomorrow could be a very interesting day for you. You may have some good news about your job. Hello? Hi, Anna. It's Lily. Hi. Are you doing anything tomorrow evening? I doubt it. Sorry? Uh... Uh, probably not. I don't think so. Uh, no, I'm not. So you're free? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Some friends are coming to dinner. Can you come? Yes. I'd love to. Thanks. About eight o'clock? Fine. See you then. Thanks again. OK. Bye. Bye. some good news about your job and you'll spend some time with friends <laughs> well well well